This is the moment they handcuffed 70-year-old Oleg Orlov, one of Russia's most revered human rights defenders, to take him away. A two-and-a-half-year sentence for supposedly discrediting Russia's armed forces. Still defiant, still full of love for his country, which is why his supporters clapped and cheered as they wished him goodbye. This is what he said just before the verdict about Russia's leadership. They are going somewhere backwards, back from the 20th to the 17th and 16th centuries. And unfortunately, they're dragging our country with them. But victory will be ours. A focus for the prosecution, an article that Orlov had written called They Wanted Fascism, They Got It. In an interview with Sky News at the start of his trial last summer, he warned of an even more dangerous future for his country. If this regime stays in this form for a very long time, then the transition can only be explosive. Revolution or something like that, anarchy, and that's scary. I do not want this for my country. All of sentencing comes a week and a half after Alexei Navalny's death, a few days after the second anniversary of Russia's war in Ukraine, and nine years to the day since Boris Nemtsov was gunned down here outside the Kremlin grim markers of the high cost of freedom in Putin's Russia. Nine years on and people still come to mark this anniversary under the police's watchful eye. Western embassies too. He was a man of great mind. Unfortunately, our country doesn't need people like that. What did Boris Nemtsov mean to you and for Russia? My youth and my hopes. Just up the road, there is the very different Russia, a memorial to fighters for the mercenary group Wagner and their leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin. Not a place for fans of Nemtsov or Alexei Navalny. No, he wasn't fighting for freedom. He fought for there to be no Russia. And these guys, they fought for Russia to exist. Radically different mindsets on what it means to defend the Russian people now through the prism of this war. The one risking jail or worse for speaking out. The other almost glad to see the back of them. Diana Magne, Sky News, Moscow.